Our next stop after Pine Creek on our Darwin to Perth road trip was Edith Falls. It's about 68 kilometres south from Pine Creek and it's a little way in off the highway. It's also about 63 kilometres north from Catherine if you come that way. There's two levels of the falls, an upper and a lower falls. And it's a nice easy walk into the lower one. It's about 125 metres. Some sections are graveled and some are concrete and there's just a couple of steps. The shallow spot to swim is just here and it is the closest one. It's nice and easy access. You can see fish straight in the water. It's sandy, it's shallow. And then there's this spot, which is where we swam. Here's actually a bit deeper. It's about six feet deep, just in the water there. You can actually see a fish swimming just there. Uh, it's really clear and the water is absolutely beautiful and so refreshing after a hot day. It's like a little oasis in the middle of nowhere and underwater, it's clear, there's heaps and heaps of fish, lots of different ones, brim, barramundi, and others. There's not much risk of crocs. Uh, saltwater crocs are monitored very closely and are removed from the area if there's any sign of them. And freshwater crocs only really come out between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. to eat. So unless you're doing something stupid like trying to get a selfie too close to one or jumping off the falls on top of one, you'll be fine. We didn't see any of them at all while we were there, so it's not likely to be a problem. It's just so worth going here. Really, if you can, do it. And hey, if you hop in the water, especially here, get a bit of a bonus. We had to pay at the UNESCO in Hakone, Japan to have the fish come and eat the dead skin off our feet. Here, all you gotta do is sit still and they'll come and do that. It does feel weird, but if you move around, they won't do it. If you need it, there is a cafe in the car park as well that, that provides cafe style food. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and subscribe for more like this from our Darwin to Perth road trip.